Hey everybody, how's it going? Here I am in the warm-up room for a new game on Steam called Mini Royale. Now this game is an alpha, and it is in an alpha test that I got access to. And sure, it's not a boomer shooter, but every now and then I step outside the box, and this, this game caught my attention, so I wanted to check it out. I've been a fan of Battle Royale games, I've played PUBG, I've played Apex, never tried Fortnite, but this one is something different. Obviously a Battle Royale formula. Oh, looks like we're gonna get started here. Battle Royale, where we are, as you can see, plastic toy soldiers, the green army, army men. And here we are, the map is like this giant room, you know, Andy's room from Toy Story, you know, Toy Soldiers, that movie from the 90s. We are those green army men, we are fighting in a Battle Royale here. <laughs> now listen, this is live commentary, I am playing while I'm talking here, I haven't done this for a while. I used to do it a lot when I was a streamer. I'm a little out of practice, but I thought it'd be fun to play this game a little bit here and talk as I play, give you some live feedback on Mini Royale. I've played this game maybe four or five rounds now. Um, not a ton. I haven't won yet. Um, it's it's hard. Uh, I've been s stuck into the uh, third person perspective queue which I'm not a fan of. I really like the first person perspective more. All right, so I'm gonna land here. I didn't see anybody land with me, so I'm gonna skip that gun. That was a shotgun, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of the pistols. You know, we need rifles. We need a sniper rifle, here we go. What's this one, a uh, M1 Grand, I think. So we got the M1, this is like kind of a sniper rifle, and then of course we got the M M16. So off to a good start on weapons here. These little, uh, that whatever that is I just picked up, that's money. Grabbing an 8x scope. Yeah, that's money. There's these little vending machines that you can upgrade your weapons at. So, yeah, we're off to a pretty good start here. I don't think anybody dropped in this area. But, um... Yeah, you know, it's okay. I've played, Like I said, I played it a couple rounds. I got stuck in the third-person third person perspective queue. I'm not a fan of that. I don't like the third-person corner camping. Oh, shit! Oh! Oh my god, I that scared, I'm so lucky. That scared me. <laughs> okay, so we got our healing kit down here. It puts this like area of effect healing down. And then we got plates, kind of like in Modern Warfare, where you can build up your uh, armor that way. So got really lucky there. Really lucky. Um, this is the inventory system. It's very rudimentary. You know, this is an alpha. One thing I've noticed is you pick up a ton of scopes in this game, and your your equipment fills up so fast with scopes. I think this is the only attachment this game has right now, and your inventory just fills up with them, and you're always dumping scopes out of your inventory. At least I am. Um, yeah, I haven't really used grenades. Oh, speak of the devil. I haven't really used grenades much in this game. I've only really just shot at people. Um... And like I said, we're in first person perspective, finally. The, people don't seem to like this cue and it takes forever to get matches for it. I hear somebody above me. So this is my grapple hook. I'm gonna see if I can make a play here. I, th I hear footsteps of, uh, above me here. It must be up on the foos table. The grapple hook's pretty cool. It's a little slow, it's a little clunky. Um, the vaulting, I've noticed, it's not very clean on, on some edges, so you kind of like vault. Oh, a nice upgrade here. So you try to vault and you just like fall off. That little squeak must be telling me that I can't grapple to it. See, it kind of just launches you up here. I wonder where this guy went. You know, the game is an alpha. There's a lot of stuff that they could... Oh, I see you, dude. There's a lot of stuff that they could def oh shoot I fell off definitely improve upon you know and I'm sure they'll have time to get feedback it's a small team of developers it's an indie studio I don't know much about it I will tell you one thing shots sound so much closer than they really are and same with footsteps and so the spatial audio in this game in my opinion could really use some work the inventory could use some work. The spatial audio could use some work. You know, I don't like that the mini map's up on my right here. I wish it was top left like other games. Or at least maybe there's an option to change that. But that'd be really nice to have that 
have the option to switch the placement of it. Oh, here's somebody behind me. Oh. Ooh. Okay, no idea that I was ready for him. The looting system's interesting, you know, you don't have to like click on everything to loot. You can just kind of walk over it and uh, it puts loot into your inventory. Oh, somebody just shot at me. Oh God, I'm missing bad. Oh, I think he hit me in the head. Dang it, nice shot. All right, let's see if we could drop in. I'm gonna see if I can drop in behind this guy. You kind of just like respawn close to where you died, I think. It's not exact. Ugh, this is a shotgun. It's like the only option. This has all been looted. But hey, at least you get a respawn in this game. And on the top left, it says like no respawns. Um, but it says three eliminations needed. So I think if I kill three more people, I get a respawn back. I actually don't really know. I've never done that before <laughs> I don't see the guy that took me out let's push up here and see if we can catch him zones closing in oh shoot oh my god how did I not see him and I'm almost out of bullets I am so lucky I can't even loot him I just gotta run. Oh god, oh god. Thank gosh we're close. Oh, grab some of my old stuff. Oh, I think I grabbed a med kit. I think I grabbed one. Oh, that that was fortunate. Okay. <laughs> just gonna heal up here. Woo! That was intense. Did barely got any items. I didn't get to pick up my weapons. Oh, that's too bad. That is too bad. Oh nice, another med kit. Yeah, the third person peeking in Battle Royales, it's just, it's just so strong. It's just, I don't know. I, I, I understand why people like it, but for me, I just like being on equal footing and uh, seeing people in that um, first person perspective. It just feels less cheap, you know? Oh my gosh! I was not expecting that guy. Oh my gosh, that honestly scared me. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get an angle on him. Let's see if he peeks me. Oh, don't shoot me in the back. Don't shoot me in the back. Oh, uh, there he is. Okay. All right, AK's pretty strong. I'm gonna see if I can zip up here and grab his stuff. The grappling hooks is really cool. It's a really cool concept in this game. It, it feels, it's like I said, Oh my god, look how many scopes this guy has. See what I mean about your inventory just fills up with scopes? Look at that! That's insane! Okay. I'm trying to figure out how to change to silencer. How do I drag? You can't just drag? Can't drag it over? It's not letting me drag. Okay, I right click it. Uh, yeah, this could use some work, man. This could use some quality of life. You should just be able to click, 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 and stuff just like goes in. I don't even know what this stuff in the middle means. What does that mean? Spin one, and then there's a, qu a bunch of question marks. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, the UI needs some love. UI needs some love. So that's something that they can hopefully will definitely improve on. Everything is kind of, you know, just a plain white and gray, even on the left with your, your health bar and stuff. Like, I'd like to see a, a little more contrast, something to pop to really kind of help me out and di differentiate some stuff. And again, I want the map in the top left corner. When I open my inventory, I want to be able to see that kind of on the left side. I'm used to seeing stuff on the left. Like maybe that's just from PUBG. I feel like everything right justified in this is like a little, it's just, yeah. See, I want that on the left. And look at me, I'm just gonna throw all these scopes up. But see these question marks at the bottom? I don't, I don't know what those are. All right. It's just me and four people left. I think. Oh no, six. Six people left. I hear a dude. Footsteps in this game are 
Oh, shoot, there he is. Footsteps in this game are so... There's another guy on my right. I don't like this. I'm going to back out. See, he's either behind this or he's up above. Like I said, footsteps are so... Oh, I could buy something here, but I'm not going to. I just... It's too risky with everybody around me. The, I can't tell if they're above me. I can't tell if they're below me. I can't tell if they're close. I can't tell if they're far. I'm just going to get up here. Ooh, a gold, a gold chest plate thingy. We'll throw that on here. I gotta keep my eyes peeled, man. There's gotta be people close that I'm not seeing here. They're just all hiding behind walls and stuff. I'm not a big, like, I don't like to hide and then push in last second. That's not my style. I don't know. It gets me killed a lot more, probably. I'm not being sneaky enough. I just don't have the patience. I just want to fight people and just see if we can get up on top of this here. Okay. See what I mean about that? It's kind of janky. That was just kind of janky. Response. Oh, shoot! What? How did that guy not die? All right, here we are in the next game. Unfortunately, lost that last one, but let's get it going here in the next one. All right, so again, I got into the first person perspective queue again. I've been only playing third and I'm so grateful for the first person. For some reason, it just hasn't been as easy to get games in first person queue. Everybody just loves the corner peeking, the third person peeking. I hate it. I just feel like it's so cheap. Um, first person just, to me, it's just a little more skilled. I'm going to get over here and get to this like sandcastle block area, I think. Block castle. I like the detail. Game over. Ooh, nice. Right out the back, got a good gun. I hear people. There's definitely going to be players here. Oh! Oh, what's... Okay, so I shot that and it didn't blow up. I thought that was going to explode or something epic, but maybe it takes more than one shot. <laughs> See if we can kill this guy. He's got to be hurt. All right, I'll just whiff everything. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. All right, one guy down. Dented my armor a little bit. No big deal. No big deal. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I don't see him. I don't see him. Uh, he's got to be up high or something. I didn't, I didn't get him. Oh, ow, ow, ow. All right, we'll get some plates going again. Get some heels going. He's got to be up high somewhere. Did I just pick up a scope? I'm not going not gonna to take the time to check right now. Oh, there he is. Ow, ow, ow. Took my armor off. Where'd he go? Ducked behind those blocks. Oh my gosh. How'd he get over there? Man, you can't even see his head. He's like obscured by the ledge. Uh, see if I can push him up here on the right. Maybe I can, um, maybe I can grapple hook to up to him slowly but surely. The janky grapple hook. Just gonna listen here for a second. All right, put the scope on. You gotta like drag one off to put the other on. You can't just like, okay, that worked. Yeah, it's just, it feels a little buggy maybe. I'm not quite sure. Anyways, we're gonna just Try to get onto this and get up here. Oh man, I wish she could like somehow cling on and climb up or something or I don't know. I don't hear him above me anymore. He might have ran off and he's certainly hearing me trying to grapple hook and stuff. Let's see if I can get up here. I'm gonna just grapple the wall. Oh, smack my head. Oh, I did not mean to fall through that hole. <laughs> the movement it's like i said the movement's just like for me it just feels clunky like all these movements 
Uh, see, right there, like, I wanted to jump and, like, vault onto that. And obviously you can't. But it just feels like you should. And, you know, obviously it's the it's not, you know, the game's fault. It's just me thinking I can do these things that I can't do. But it just feels like I should be able to do that. So, I don't know. Hopefully some of these things get a little bit ironed out in these systems. It would be cool if the movement just was a little more fluid. You know, I, I, I guess I've been playing a lot of Titanfall. So that's my own fault. I feel like I can just, like, grab ledges and vault. Is somebody just shoot at me? I'm just going to keep moving. I think somebody... Yeah, somebody's definitely shooting at me. It's probably that guy that was up there. He's, like, waiting for me or something. But, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Titanfall. So, like, <laughs> all my movement is, like... I just keep thinking, like, I can grab ledges and wall slide and... I mean, that would be so cool, right? I mean, but then that's why we, you could go play Apex Legends. But another another Battle Royale with movement like that would be pretty cool. Like, the grapple hook in this game is it's pretty basic. Like, you just shoot it at something and it pulls you to it. Like, there's no swinging mechanics like um, the grapples in Titanfall or the Pathfinder grapple in Apex. So those kind of movement mechanics, though, like that kind of stuff reminds me of a lot of arena FPS type things and having the ability to like swing and slide and, you know, just add more movement can really make a, a game that's a little more stale. It could turn it into something a lot more dynamic. So for me, that'd be cool to see. I, I'm going to try to get up here. No, I'm not. Never mind. So... I guess, you know, oh, somebody must have just died here, but I'll just <laughs> take all the loot. There's definitely people above me. Um, what was I saying? Just having the ability to, like, grapple and a little bit more freedom could really make this game a lot more dynamic. So, I don't know if they'll work on those systems. Oh, shit. Oh, God, I have the wrong gun out. Oh, God, oh, God. Okay, he just dented my armor up. Ooh, the gold shield gives you back to 100 armor. That's nice. I hear him. He's going to peek me. He's going to peek me on the right here, I think. Yep. Don't shoot me in the back. Oh, oh man, I'm bad at re-peeking. I have no idea where he is. There he was behind that, maybe. He's getting shot by somebody else. He might have just died. I don't know if I want to push back out here. Let me circle around a little here. Oh, there he is. Dude, headshots in this game. Going for headshots is huge. The body shots, I feel like all the armor is in the body. And the headshots just seems to melt people regardless of their body armor. At least it's how it feels. I have no idea if that's actually the case. Ow, ow, ooh. And gosh for that grapple. That guy definitely would have killed me if I wasn't grappling. I had my head down. I was not paying attention at all. I don't see him. He must have ran back or around the corner. So yeah, this is a player nay series video. I think I mentioned that at the start. But, you know, it's not a boomer shooter. It's different from my normal content. But hey, listen, every now and then I get to... Go outside the box, play something else. And so this is a player nay. I keep thinking that's a person. Oh, there's a dude. Got him once. Oh, he's getting lit by somebody. He might have just died right there. So do I think that this is a good game that you guys should, you know, jump into and play? Right now? It's just 50-50. It's... Not an amazing game, but it's not a bad game. It just feels pretty kind of mid, to be honest with you. The fact that it's, you know, got a cool aesthetic and you're the toy soldiers, all of us, that's really nice. I like that. I, I like that. You know, I've seen games like this in the past. Oh, hold on. What? No way, dude. That had to have been a headshot. I didn't think I was even hurt. Shoot. Nice shot from that guy. Dang. Ugh. 
I'm gonna kind of go back to where I just died. Oh, there's a dude right below me. Oh, I'm just gonna grab a gun and go jump on him. I think he must, he might have looted all my stuff. Let's go jump on this dude and try to get my stuff back. I only have four bullets. Oh god, this is a dumb idea. Where'd he go? Dick, I just... Oh, there he is. Oh, and he just got wrecked. Okay. What's back here? Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's a little upgrading machine. Okay, I can put some money in here and get, like, a upgrade. Oh, God, that's the zone. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm in a terrarium. Oh, my God, I bet I'm boxed in and the zone's coming in. I need to get back out of here. I'm going to probably have to run through the zone to get out of here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I am in bad shape. I have, like, no guns. I'm just going to loot this guy's stuff and hope that that dude's not looking here anymore. I need these guns. Go, 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 go. Oh, please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Go, pick it up. Ah! <laughs> so, player Nate, should you play this game? I think it's one to keep an eye on. That's, that's what I'm going to say for it right now. For me, it's not totally my cup of tea. I'm not going to lie. It's not a bad game. It's not a good game. Um, I like Battle Royales. I don't love Battle Royales. This one's not blowing my mind. I love the aesthetic, though. I really like the Toy Story style here. You know, it's a game that just came out recently called Hypercharged Unboxed, I believe. It kind of had like that same Toy Story, you know, in a playroom. All the action figures are coming to life and fighting vibe to it. There's only seven people left here. I'm going to have to definitely start paying attention. But yeah, you know, you might want to try it. If you like Battle Royales, you might really like this one. The thing about this game is it feels really stiff. It feels really... I'm going to use a pun, plastic. And I'm sure that's not what they're going for, but something about it, I just wish there's a little bit more freedom of movement, especially because they have the grapple hook. There's a dude up here. Oh, there he is. I think I'm going to push him and try to take him down. Oh, he's to my right. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm screwing this up. Oh, oh my God. I'm so glad he... Oh, ow, ow, ow. I'm so glad he grappled there. I screwed that up so bad. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't... Oh, he whiffed. Okay. All right. Uh, I got a little cover here. Ow. Okay. They just took my armor down. <laughs> All right. I got to focus up here for a second. There's only five people left. I think I can win this game. I've got decent position. I've got close proximity to the zone. There's just this guy up top. Just try to push in here. See if I can get some better zone position. Four people left. Three people left. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here nice and quiet. You know, I got that guy above me. As soon as I hear him come down, though, I'm going to push him. He's definitely still up there. Yeah, I'm going to concentrate up here. Try to win this. We'll uh, talk about the game in a minute. I think he just pulled a shoot. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, no, he's still there. He's jumping. He's trying to... He doesn't know where I'm at. He's jumping. He's trying to get a beat on me. He's out of zone, I'm pretty sure. So he's going to have to definitely come down. Yeah, he's pushing in. Oh! I thought there were three people left, but I guess it was just the one. 
All right, everybody. Well, that's the end of this video here. I'm just going to talk for a quick second over some footage from a match that I definitely got crushed in. Third person perspective is not my forte. All right, so Mini Royale, it's on Steam. You can check it out. New Battle Royale game from an independent developer. You're a toy army man, toy soldier in Andy's room from Toy Story playing in this incredibly creative and cool environment. I do really like the aesthetic, like I said. The movement mechanics feel stiff. I like the grapple hook, but it feels pretty one-dimensional. You just point, click, that's all you can do with it. I'd love to see some swinging added. I'd love to see, you know, the ability to climb on walls a little bit easier, maybe jump, slide on a wall. <laughs> I've been playing Titanfall 2, so maybe I'm just biased, but it just feels like it could really make this game a lot cooler, especially because of, you know, the environments. The ability to climb up a little bit and utilize these environments better could be pretty neat. Right now, now it's just a pretty average game. If you're looking for a shooter that's different, it different aesthetically, I should say. Maybe check this one out. I would just say that uh, this game, because it's a battle royale, we know how we all have, know how that goes. A lot of indie battle royales, they've they've got a big market they're they're fighting for a tiny slot in. So I don't see this game la going the distance. Um, it might be one that you play for a little while and then it dies out. You know, check it out. You might be surprised, you might enjoy it. But for me, for me personally, I think I got my fill in this uh, little play test and that'll be it. So this one for me is a nay. And I hope I'm wrong, but I just don't see this game lasting for very long due to the market it's trying to break into. It's really competitive and hard. But I hope you're enjoying the content. This was a little bit different for the channel. I know I normally do boomer shooter stuff, but I wanted to switch it up and see what you guys thought of this. So let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you think you'll be checking out Mini Royale. And if you have checked it out and you think it's going to be great, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm completely off base, but I'm always open to hear other opinions. As always, I'm Salty Octopus. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one. Happy fragging.